Kati Kati, the gateway to New Zealand's Bay of Plenty, is a totally unique Kiwi town and the only planned Ulster settlement in the world. In 1875, George Vesey Stewart brought a group of 363 settlers out on a 92-day voyage from Belfast. In 1878, he brought out a second group of settlers to this land of opportunity. Today, colourful murals celebrating Katty Katty's rich heritage now adorn most of the commercial buildings in the town, proudly making it New Zealand's mural town. Now it's a fixture on the tourist trail, and promotions manager Jackie Knight says with so much going on, it's not hard to promote Katty Katty. Oh, it's not hard at all. It's a great little town. Uh, there's heaps of good community groups with lots of volunteers that help uh, put events and things on, so it's a great little town. One of your big events, of course, involves avocados. Mm -hmm. It does. It's the Avocado Wine and Food Festival, and um, we, uh, Katy Katy, is the largest producer of avocados in New Zealand, so it's very fitting that we celebrate it with a festival. Uh, the food is predominantly avocado based. There's good music, wine, of course, um, and a really good day out. It attracts a lot of people from out of town to the district, which is fantastic. From out of town, do they come from around the world as well? Oh, I'm sure they do, but I know they definitely come from Tauranga and the Waikato. There are a lot of holiday makers at Waihi Beach, so they come through, so that's really good. And talking about people visiting here, I mean, they, they obviously come from around the world because I see people taking photographs, they seem to come from many nations. Mm -hmm. They certainly do. Um, I think New Zealand's historically been a, a tourist destination along the State Highway 1, but people are starting to come off the, the main route or onto the more scenic route. So uh, we're getting a lot of people that are coming through, a lot of camper vans that come through Katy Katy, um, and people stop and, and meet the locals. We come to a place like Katy Katy, which is, which is small, almost a farming community type place, mm -hmm. and, and you can see how the Kiwis live really. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Um, we've got quite an older population as well, I think there's something like 35% of our population's retired or over 65, so yeah, we're a little bit different in that respect as well, and I think that helps create the town that we've got. Another big attraction here of course is the um, Haiku Pathway. Yes. Uh, the haiku pathway um, is a type of Japanese poem. It's got a certain amount of syllables per line in it. Um, it's the only one in the Southern Hemisphere, uh, and it's the only one in English, which is fantastic. And it's it's unique for Katy Katy in New Zealand. Actually, it's it's a great asset. Katy Katy's big boast is being a mural town. Yes. We do mural tours and uh, they take about an hour and they give you a good overview of the history of Katy Katy. So we're quite unique because we were the only planned Ulster Irish settlement um, in the world. So George Vasey Stewart came out here, um, brought two boatloads of people and, and set up in Katy Katy. So all of that is on the walls in, in town telling the story about Katy. And of course descendants are, still live here and, and celebrate the fact that they are... Um... Ulster. Yes, um, yeah, and that's great. I mean, you you talk to the locals; they've got third or fourth generation. The roads are named after them. It's yeah, it's really great. Now, a, a tourist coming to Katy Katy for the first time, what can they what can they expect? Places to eat, places to go to. I mean, in the evening sort of thing. Uh, we've got a couple of really good restaurants in town. The Talisman Hotel is a historic building. It was built when they first had the small township of Katy Katy. It was actually on the other side of the river, but because it flooded a few times, they moved it up onto the hill. Uh, so that's a great spot. Um, we've got another couple of good restaurants in town. There's plenty of takeaways um, to, to enjoy. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, of course, I'm forgetting. You've got a Kiwi bloke here as well. Sitting down reading oh, the newspaper. Oh, Barry! Is that how a, could I forget Barry? <laughs> is that how is that indicative? Is that indicative of every Kiwi bloke? All they do is sit around reading a newspaper. Well, I uh, guess that's what the artist thought. Um, but Barry would be our most photographed spot. I, my office is just behind him, and he's continually photographed. Um, so no, Barry is great, and he's got his little dog Jack that sits next to him as well. They, of course, is, was a real person sat for that, didn't they? Yes, yeah, and um, I'm not exactly sure what Barry's made out of, but I know the clothes that Barry the statue is wearing are the clothes of the man that modelled for him. Is there anything you would say that, that, it, that is different or, or really attractive for a tourist coming here? I think the ability to really meet the locals and to have everything so close because you can get up to some amazing bushwalks in Katy Katy which um, you know are five minutes from town they have a lot of history up there of the logging um, that was done the milling of the cowrie logs 
Um, a lot of our side roads have got little hidden treasures up there. They might be artisan food producers or they might be little galleries, art galleries and studios, but there's a lot of little hidden treasures around the area. So there's a lot of sort of what would say almost village craft going on as well, isn't there? Absolutely, yeah. Little yeah. Small cottage industry almost. They are, and there's a couple of really good shops in Caddy Caddy of just local craft people's work. Um, and again, perhaps it's the retired people that are dabbling in a bit of craft and everything, no, so it's good. So a great place to visit and a mm -hmm. great place to stay. Absolutely, well, absolutely. Great, great place to live.